one really important thing I forgot to discuss, which I should have discussed earlier is how leads are created and what are the different ways a lead can be created inside high level. Before that, we need to understand the difference between opportunities and contacts. Opportunities are created based on your needs. So you can create them however you want. If you want an appointment pipeline, you can have it. You can, if you want a sales pipeline, it's based on your business, how you want it. But contacts are anything with an email and a phone number or maybe one of them. So this one is a phone number. This is a contact. This one only has an email. This one is also a contact. A contact can have both email and phone number. It can have either one of them. It doesn't matter really. So a contact is basically anything with something that you can communicate with. Any channel like an email or a phone number is a contact. Now, what are the different channels, leads or contacts can come to high level? It can come through forms, which you can create in high level. It can come through surveys, which also you can create in high level. So these are basically multi-step forms. It can come through calendars because we know that calendars have a form. If you pick a date and time, it will ask you for your information through a form. So technically a contact is being created when your lead is booking an appointment through the high level calendar. Now, what are the different ways? It can also come through the chatbot. So if I go to a funnel that's inside this high level account, this one, this funnel has a chatbot, right? So if we go to this, it's asking me for name, phone number and message. I can also allow email. So the chatbot will ask for email before a conversation. This is another way to create a contact in high level. So we've got forms, surveys, calendars and chatbots. Another way we can create contacts in high level is manually. So if we click on this quick actions, we can create a contact. We can create an opportunity which will be added to your pipeline. But creating an opportunity means you're giving it an email, you're giving it a phone number or maybe one of them. So technically it's a contact. So by creating an opportunity, you are creating a contact. So we've got form surveys, calendars, chat widgets, and you can add them manually. So these are the different ways. These are the different channels. A contact can be created inside high level. So you need to keep them in mind. And if you don't want to have duplicate contacts, like duplicate emails, duplicate phone numbers, you just have to go to settings and you have to keep it unticked. So allow duplicate contact will be unticked. Duplicate opportunities, sometimes you want it. Like uh, uh, if we imagine a use case where you're selling products, one person can buy multiple products. That's, that's not a big deal. So for those use cases, you might need duplicate opportunity. But if you don't want it, like most businesses, most local businesses don't want duplicate opportunities, duplicate contacts, keep them as it is.